Guys, my name is Kryptonic, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can make your microphone go from sounding like this to sounding a little bit more like this. So if you guys do end up enjoying the video, make sure to drop a like on it. But anyways, guys, let's get straight into the video. Now, I'm always showing you guys tutorials on Audacity, and although I do think it's a great program for what you can do and for a free software at that, I'm going to show you guys a tutorial in Adobe Audition. And the only reason for that is because I recently started using it, and now I see why people use Adobe Audition. It is such a great program program that you can do so many different things with you know audacity is great for it being free but adobe audition is just a very good software overall so now i'm going to show you guys a little bit of what i do to my recordings to make it sound as good as i possibly can and you know everything that i show you guys is suitable for change meaning that you guys can customize it as much as you want but this is just like the default way i get my recordings out to you guys because i think it's the best way to you know just get the audio out there and not make it sound too compressed or you know just make it sound like a plain old commentary so now let's just record something together and then from there i'll show you what it sounds like before and what it sounds like after i do the editing and of course i'll show you guys how i did it and now you just simply head over to the red button right here and you click record and it'll show you the file name you can rename it to whatever you want I'll just name it test and my sample rate is usually 48,000 you guys want to make sure that this is the same thing down in your microphone settings and then you simply click OK and it'll start recording now before you guys hit OK make sure that you guys leave about five seconds of silence just so that your microphone picks up all the background noise because that's what it'll be removing at the end like I'll be showing you guys so just click OK and leave it going for five seconds So this is what my microphone currently sounds like without any editing done to it and this is just the generic basic microphone, the Rode NT-USB microphone goes for around $160 on Amazon in case you guys are interested. Now this is what my microphone sounds like, the Rode NT-USB microphone, $160 on Amazon after you do some tweaking with it on Adobe Audition, of course you can do this on Audacity. But you know, Adobe Audition is just in my opinion a little bit better of a software since it is a paid software. Then simply just click stop and as you guys will see the whole selection will be highlighted which is something that we do want to see which is great because that just means that we're ready to get going with the editing to the clip. So once you guys stop the recording simply by hitting the stop sign down here. What I recommend to you guys is that you guys go up here to favorite and you click start recording favorite. This will record everything that I show you guys, everything you guys select. It'll basically record it for you so that when you do another recording, you don't have to add everything manually. You can just go here, select your favorite and it'll add every single thing to it, which is great. So it's like if I select this right here, the recording preset I have and bam, that's it. My audio is edited and now I don't have to worry about anything, but we're going to go right back here and we're going to get rid of all of those. So I'm going to be showing you guys step by step what I do. So basically the first thing you guys want to do is go down to effect, filter and EQ and graphic equalizer 20 bands. Now you guys just want to copy down these last five numbers. That's all you have to do those five numbers and then simply hit OK. Once you guys have hit OK on that, go back into effects. And right now you guys are simply going to go up to amplitude and compression and you guys are going to go over to dynamics processing. And you guys are simply going to want to lift these up to where it's at. So this one is negative 60 and negative 55. And this one is negative 20 and negative 10. And you're simply going to want to, you know, make that a preset, whatever you want. And then you're simply going to hit OK once again. And now that you guys have done that, you guys are simply going to want to head back to effects, filter and EQ. And you guys are going to go down to the paramedic equalizer. And you guys are simply going to want to copy this, which is just a loudness maximizer, which is very easy for you guys to find because it's already a preset. You just select that and you click OK. Once you guys have done all of that, you guys are basically done. All you're going to want to do now is go down to effects. You guys are going to want to go down to amplitude and compression and hit normalize. And then from here, you're going to be on the percentage. You're just going to want to go down to DB and put it to negative one and click apply. Now, once you guys have done that, make sure that the first five seconds that I told you guys to, you know, hold in your breath, breathe for a while. Make sure you guys clip that in there. And now you guys are going to select that, go up to effects. Go down to noise reduction, noise reduction process, and from here you're going to want to hit capture noise point up here. Make sure you guys do that and it'll show you guys right here what you want to be doing. And the noise reduction, I always put it around 90. I feel like 100% is too much. So, you know, that's just my personal opinion. You guys can definitely mess around with it and tell me what you guys think. Then reduce by 6.8 decibels. And then you guys, once you guys have done all of that and set the numbers, make sure that you guys select 
entire file and now it'll select the entire thing for you and hit apply and as you guys see the audio is ready to go now comes the fun part guys now you guys get to listen to what it sounds like before and what it sounds like after so right here i'm going to let you guys listen to all of that on your own and let me know what you guys think so this is going to be the normal recording without any editing done to it enjoy guys so this is what my microphone currently sounds like without any editing done to it and this is just the generic basic microphone the rode nt usb microphone goes for around 160 dollars on amazon in case you guys are interested and as you guys can see it does pick up a few things in the back and of course it doesn't sound the greatest it sounds a little bit mushy and now you guys get to listen to the whole edited clip and the second part of it at least hopefully you guys enjoy and listen very carefully now this is what my microphone sounds like, the Rode NT-USB microphone, $160 on Amazon after you do some tweaking with it on Adobe Audition. Of course you can do this on Audacity, but you know, Adobe Audition is just in my opinion a little bit better of a software since it is a paid software. Now personally I think that it definitely sounds a lot better and it definitely gives more tone to my voice and it makes me sound a lot less depressed than what I really am and this can definitely work out for any one of you guys that are trying to get into recording but you know maybe your audio is not the best or your microphone is not the best and you're trying to make the most out of it this definitely will help you out in the long run. Anyways guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and if you did remember to leave a like and a comment down below letting me know what tips you guys already used for your audio and of course letting me know how well my audio tips worked out for you. Anyways guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys around and I'm out. Peace guys.